Hey guys, Gareth here, FCP Euro. Welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're going to show you how to replace a transfer case mount on F15 X5 X Drive 35i. This, of course, is going to apply to any F15 X5 X Drive vehicle or any F16 X Drive vehicle, uh, including the M models. Basically, same transfer case mount, same process overall. Uh, a lot of what we're doing in this video would also apply to most of the other BMW transfer case mounts as well, so keep that in mind. But with that said, let's talk about some of the tools you're going to need to do this job, and then we'll go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so some of the tools you need for the job. The basics, you want 16 millimeter sockets, 18 millimeter sockets, a 10 millimeter socket, an 8 millimeter socket, uh, 18 millimeter wrench, and in this case, we have two 19 millimeter wrenches because of the drive sizes here on the transfer case tool set. Uh, along with that, you're gonna need a torque wrench that can do at least 68 newton meters of torque. Uh, with that, I uh, really recommend having the appropriate tools to remove the transfer case mount. It's gonna be very difficult to remove it without. I'm sure that there are methods available that you can work around, but having this turns this into a pretty basic job versus having to scramble to come up with other solutions. So really recommend looking at something like this. Along with that, recommend having some uh, soapy water available, uh, scotch bright pads for cleaning out the bore in the transfer case after the mount has been removed. You want some flush cuts for installing a new zip tie to hold the ground in place. And obviously if you have access to impact guns and things like that, that's gonna make the job go by a lot faster. Uh, so these are the basic tools you're gonna need to do the job. With that said, let's go ahead and get into it. I'll show you how to do this. All right, so here we are underneath the car. Uh, our transfer case is right here. Uh, transfer case mount brackets right here. Now, important thing to note on BMW X Drive vehicles, the transfer case mount also acts as the transmission mount. Normally, the transmission would have a cross member mount right here, uh, but on the X Drive vehicles, that one bushing supports basically the entire tail end of the whole uh, drivetrain assembly. So, uh, we're going to see what this bushing looks like at 66,000 miles. These bushings have quite a bit of flex in them, so be interested to see what that is actually looking like. But here we go. We have our splash shield here, which is for the transmission pan. This, of course, is bolted here to the cross member, so we're going to remove that first. Eight millimeter screws. It's only five, so we're just going to go ahead and get this whole thing out of the way. Next up, we're going to remove the transfer case cross member mount bolts. There's six 16 millimeter bolts that hold this in place. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, zip those out now. Now, obviously it goes without saying, once you release these screws, the whole drivetrain is gonna sag a little bit. That's perfectly fine. Um, there's enough support from the engine mounts to kind of keep everything in place, but you do want this to droop down a little bit. If you're working underneath the vehicle, uh, on jack stand specifically, you might wanna put a support um, on the cross member or on the casing of the transfer case just to let it down slowly. Uh, but if you're working on a lift like this, you can kind of let the whole thing come down like that. Uh, lastly, we have this through bolt here. It's an 18 millimeter. Uh, comes all the way through the uh, cross member, through the transfer case mount, which you can see right here. And then there's a 18 millimeter nut here on the back side. So we need to remove that bolt. Um, and then from that point, we'll actually be able to pull the whole cross member out. So here we have an 18 millimeter nut. Unfortunately, uh, do not have an offset wrench that is large enough to sort of get past this transfer case bracket. There is no service window here, so I'm just kind of coming at an angle with an 18 millimeter wrench just to hold the nut, and we're gonna zip the, zip the bolt out. And then uh, you also wanna make sure that you pull this ground right here. Nice little retaining clip holds your ground strap. Also a good time to check this ground, st uh, ground straps condition and replace it if necessary. I just went and cut the uh, zip tie off this clip. Sometimes these can be a pain to remove and I'd rather not break the clip, so I'll just replace the zip tie after. All right, so looking at the original transfer case mount here, 66,000 miles on it. Um, it's definitely much harder than the new one. Our exhaust is right here. So obviously over time, this has probably been baked a little bit. This area down here where you see these openings, that, that's nothing to worry about because that's just a thin layer of rubber to begin with. That's not actually structural. So if you see that, no issues. I just see a couple of, a little bit of cracking here and there. Uh, so it's just a good thing to get this out of here at the same time. I would say if you're doing engine mounts, it probably makes sense to also replace the transfer case mount at the same time. 
Um, while you have everything apart here, it's a good, good time to look. Uh, normally the, the, the gasket that holds your transfer case actually in place, you'll start getting leaks here. So if you see any leaking, now's a good time to address that. Also note the installation orientation of the transfer case mount itself. Um, you'll see that there's like this little dimple right here on the transfer case uh, casing itself. Plus on the bushing, you wanna make sure that when you reinstall it, it goes in the same way. We're gonna be using this uh, special tool set from Baum Tools. This is basically a replica of the factory transfer case removal and installation tool or transfer case mount installation and removal tool. You have this little puller right here which basically sits perfectly on the housing of the transfer case. Here's our adapter, which is going to push the bushing out from the rear. And then uh, we have a forcing screw right here that we're gonna run through the middle of it. Uh, basically all of these together will pull this bushing out. And these bushings generally, uh, they don't come out that hard, so um, shouldn't be that big of a deal. All right, now we're in a position where we can go ahead and press this mount out. So we have our little press adapter here. I'm gonna put the forcing screw through. And on this back side, just gonna go ahead and get the nut on. So that'll kind of keep everything in place while I work on the front side. All right, so now at this point, we have everything installed. We're gonna go ahead and uh, force this out. It'll probably resist a little bit at first, but once you uh, break the bond between the rubber and the transfer case itself, it should come out pretty easily. I recommend doing this by hand, uh, just because if there's any kind of binding or something is stuck, you'll be able to feel it a lot sooner than if you were using power tools. But as you can see, the rubber mount is coming out. And also our little press adapter on the back side is going through the opening on the transfer case. It's not dragging. This is coming out very easily, which is what we want. All right, so I'm coming in here with a Scotch-Brite pad and I'm just cleaning out any of the corrosion that's in the bore here. It's aluminum, so you get some oxidation and stuff like that. I just don't want that to interfere with the new bushing going in. So just cleaning it up now while I'll have a chance. So BMW in their technical documentation tells you to use something called Circolite as a lubrication. Um, basically that's just to help with aid of install. The Circolite will basically dry and then the rubber will adhere to the aluminum. However, soapy water will do exactly the same. So just using a little bit of soap and water here. We've done this trick for control arm bushings and things like that. Now you need to take your adapter and uh, you'll see how it has this five holes. This piece slips into those five holes and it'll press on the bushing evenly. There you go. Again, you need to be cognizant of alignment. I'm just gonna like partially press this bushing in by hand. or actually in this case, mostly push it all the way in. You can use the, uh, this adapter to get it lined up with that notch there, which we're good. So as you can see, I was able to get it about halfway in with the soap and water. Uh, soap and water is really good lubrication for rubber bushings that need to go into an aluminum housing, just FYI. So you don't need to buy the special circle light or anything like that. You can just use like Dawn dish detergent a little bit mix of water, go a long way. This is our receiver cup. So I'm just kinda threading the screw back in. And then on the front, I'll put our nut with the washer. This is the one that's gonna spin, so you always wanna have the, the nut with the thrust washer. And now we're just gonna go ahead and push it the rest of the way in. Should go in pretty easy. If you feel like it's not, you got a problem, you should stop. Press it till it bottoms out against the housing, which is where we are. We're lined up here, so that's great. And there we go. New transfer case mount is installed. It's sitting flush. It's level as it should be. That mark there is lined up. Good to go. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our, uh, 
our bracket. So the cross member is kind of awkward and a little bit heavy. So what we want to do is get the bolt through the new transfer case mount first to support the weight of this thing so that we can, you know, eventually maneuver in position. There we go. That's through. Putting a new locking nut on the bolt here or the on the bolt that comes through. Just to hold it in place. So one thing I'm noticing here, um, gonna potentially run into a problem with this exhaust shield right here, putting this transfer case bracket back up into place. So I'm just gonna remove the three 10 millimeter nuts that hold it. It's easy enough to put back up after the fact, but uh, I just don't want it to uh, get trapped underneath or in the way we're putting this back up into position. So yeah, with this uh, heat shield off out of the way, uh, it's just gonna give us a little bit more room to line up our cross member here. I originally contemplated on removing it, but I was hoping it wouldn't be necessary. It is, at least to make this easier going back into place. So I'm gonna push on this against the bottom of the transfer case housing. I don't wanna push on the cross member because uh, the cross members only held on through the transfer case mount. So using a pole jack here, if you're doing this on the ground, a, a floor jack's gonna work just fine for this. So just gonna push this back into place. Also, before we get too far, we wanna go ahead and uh, put a new zip tie on our ground strap. Because once that gets up and out of the way, We're not going to be able to deal with that. For the most part, you do have some adjustability here on the cross member. If you have to move it around, you can do that. But for the most part, it shouldn't line back up with the original holes. Again, these are 16 millimeter. I'm just gonna get them started by hand. And you can also see the witness marks from these washers where they originally were. So I'm just gonna try to line them back up in the same way that they were originally. So now I can release the weight off the transfer case because now the mount is holding it in place for the cross member. I'm using the hand tighten mode just to put these a little bit further in. Torque spec on these six mount bolts are 38 newton meters. And I'm just gonna kind of skip from side to side here. I'm just gonna use the impact gun here to bottom out the bolt and then we'll torque it to spec. Again, 18 millimeter and torque spec on this through bolt is going to be 68 newton meters. Now we're just going to go ahead and reinstall the uh, heat shield we removed. Key here is to get it into place on the bottom first and then you can go ahead and line it up at the top. And then these plastic nuts underneath, again, 10 millimeter. And then all we need to do is reinstall our uh, transmission splash shield here. And these are all eight millimeter screws. All right, and that's how you replace the transfer case mount on your F15 X5 or F16 X6. It's gonna be a similar process regardless of the drivetrain. Uh, also, it's going to be a similar process on any BMW X Drive vehicle, uh, particularly with the special tools to pull the transfer case mount out of the transfer case. That is the one thing that makes this job either super easy 
or a huge pain, really recommend having the tools at minimum to remove it. Uh, installation is relatively easy. The soap and water technique I showed you, instead of using the special BMW lubricant, works super well. We've done that before in other types of bushing installations. Uh, but other than that, hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comment box below. Hit that like button if you like this video and hit subscribe. We have a lot more videos on the way. And as always, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.